Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? A little, little bit behind, a little bit behind. Let me, where, where'd my Discord go? Where'd my Discord go? There's my Discord. Oh, uh, one second here. There we go. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. There we go. There's a the Discord notification. How's everyone doing today? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. We got less than a week till the holidays. Have you all been naughty or nice? Has everyone been? Everyone's behaved, right? Everyone's behaved for for Coca-Cola Santa Man to come through the down the chimney, right? Yeah. How's the little one doing? He's still sick. Um, everyone's kind of getting sick, unfortunately. It. it it's the season of giving, and in this case, giving is respiratory infections. Ah, so how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Ah, so yeah, so it's Tuesday. Uh, today's stream is gonna be a little bit short because uh, the little guy is home. He's not at school right now still. So I'm gonna have to end the stream probably around one o'clock, maybe a little bit after one, uh, simply because wifey's gotta go to work and I got to go watch the little guy because uh, you can't really leave him unattended at his current age. Oh yeah, it, like half his class is sick right now. Half his class is sick right now, it's ridiculous. So many kids are getting respiratory infections because everyone's been away for so long and now everyone's back together and they're kids, so they, they share everything, so. Bench top upgrade. We did this a month, like a couple months ago. Uh, fancy new month. Yes, so I got sick and tired of the AirPods uh, dying on me um, every stream because I used to be able to get four hours out of them and then it was three and a half hours and now they're dying at like the three hour and 15 minute mark and for those that are new to the channel um, I my streams run long a lot um, we, we we occasionally especially the Saturday night streams if, if you know the uh, the libations are good and we're having a good time I'll, I'll run it till four or five hours sometimes so I got fed up with the AirPods dying and then they were like kind of being weird and getting some interference. And then also, um, I dropped one and I don't know where it went. So I said, screw it. So now I'm rocking uh, some IEMs. Uh, these are, I, apparently these are exactly what uh, Dank Pods recommends, but I didn't watch that video. But these are the ZSN Pros. Um, and then I got a, uh, Fio, uh, Fio, Fia, Fio, uh, Bluetooth DAC. Got this little guy. So this is a little Bluetooth receiver DAC. You plug your headphones in. Um, you can use any headphones with it. And I get like 11 hours of battery now. So I really can't complain. Um, so we should be good if I do another marathon stream in the future. Uh, Fio's good stuff. Get Raycons. You know. Um, and until Raycon wants to sponsor me, I won't use them because uh, I'm a YouTuber. It, it's kind of, if they want me to use their shit, they have to pay me. Um, but yeah, the, these were, yeah, they're comfortable. Um, I found out my left ear is like three sizes too small to compare to my left, right ear. Um, but they're comfortable. They last a lot longer. Um, yeah. So yeah. So that's that. So today's stream uh, is gonna be something a little easy because my like week has just been nuts. Um, I was recording a video till like midnight on Sunday there. Um, actually, I was outside at 1 a.m. verifying what I did worked. Um, so everything's just been kind of a mess, especially with the little guy being sick. So today we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna go back to the old fallback on this channel. This is like the, the if I got nothing else to do, I'm gonna put clipper on something. Um, we tried putting it on one of the quadcopters. It doesn't work, unfortunately. So um, today we got this guy. So this is my Voron. What Voron? The Voron. This is a Voron 1.0. We built this a while ago. Don't even use that side anyways. It doesn't work. Um, so the plan was that I was gonna print a bunch of stuff with my V1.0 here. And for those that don't know, this is the original Voron. If, if you looked up Voron prior to 2018, this is, this is it. This is a Voron. What Voron? A Voron. 
that that's just how it is so this is a voron kit it was built from a voron kit it is voron kit serial number 20. um steve has 19 and then some other people have the previous ones so this is the original voron and the original plan was i was going to print several things on it and then we would convert it to clipper and then we would compare marlin 1.0 release candidate six i don't like it i i tried getting bed mesh working on this um i don't like it <laughs> i couldn't get it the consistently level right i don't know so we're gonna do um we're just gonna skip the prior testing portion and we're just gonna slap clipper on this bitch and see how fast we can go tnt savage five dollars cheers merry christmas strap fixing fund one day but not today so yeah so today we're going to slap clipper on this um and we're gonna make it dance so before that though i need to get my I know what my e-steps are for my X, Y, and Z, or at least I should be able to figure them out pretty quickly, but I gotta figure them out for the, for the uh, extruder. So I gotta plug this in because I don't know what it is and I really don't wanna do math. So we'll figure that out. Uh... Can you put a, a like for the Bluetooth set, please? Oh, a link. Um, just search, it's it's the, just go on Amazon and search FIO BTR 3K. Uh, control. Motion. Oh man, I hate this dial. E-steps. 608 so it's 608 steps per millimeter oh pf dennis gifted five community memberships cheers uh, so it's 608 normally we we do a little um there we go 608 so normally we do a little chit chat before we dive into it but it's going to take a minute here to get clipper installed on this or at least the uh, sd card so i'm going to get that all set up and then we'll dive into it oh there we go. Okay. Ah! Knocking stuff everywhere. I buy these little like four packs of Patriot like SD cards and I don't know where they all go, but I, I don't know how I go through SD cards so quick. Which one are you? Oh, you gotta go back in my headset. Okay, is there anything on this guy? No, we're good, okay. So, uh, Pi Imager, Raspberry Pi Imager, choose OS, other specific purpose, 3D printing, main sale, uh, there's options now? Uh, let's just go. I'm, I'm doing a Raspberry Pi 3B because we're going Raspberry Pi 3B came out in 2016, which is when this printer was released. So we're using a 3B for this. Let's go with the 32 bit, I guess. Choose storage and make sure my Wi Fi info is on here. Yep. Right. Does can the Raspberry Pi 3 do 30 64 bit? I don't think it matters for it, it's clipper. I don't think it matters. So we'll let that do. Uh, what's your opinion on closed loop drivers? Um, eh, I don't really find a huge need for them. Yeah, we'll just do 32 bit. I don't, th I don't think for, for what we're doing, I don't think it's going to matter too much. So while that's installing there, uh, let's do the beginning of stream rundown because we do that every stream gets everyone time to come in here hey you yes you you do you want to win some filament every stream we give away a spool of polymaker filament link in the description get your chance to win some filament for polymaker also links in the description if you want to buy some polymaker filament. It's gonna be good shit good printer shell um 
64. Fine, I'll do 64. 64 bit. Right, there we go. Okay, 64 bit. Um, yeah, for some reason, I thought the Pi 4 was the only one that could do 64 bit. So, yes, um, if you want to win some Polymaker Filament, we do a draw at the end of every stream. Link in the description. The stream will probably end around 1 o'clock today, maybe a little bit after. Um, it's, I got a hard stop of 115, but there's that. Um, also, have you joined the Discord yet? Join the community Discord. The link is in the description. This Friday is the monthly challenge stream. So every month I give you a community challenge to do. This month's theme is festive holidayness. Is it Christmas related? Is it Hanukkah related? Is it Kwanzaa related? Is it that Seinfeld holiday that nobody really thinks is funny, but everyone thinks it's funny uh, because Seinfeld's not funny? It, print something for that and submit it in the channel. Is it just a snowman or whatever? Do it. Enter to win. We're going to do the draw this Friday. So we're going to go through all the entries this Friday. The winner is going to get some Only Benchies merch, either a hat or a t-shirt, uh, and some Polymaker filament. And then also, 30th. Next Friday is the end of year print and chill and giveaway stream. Okay, it's the New Year's Eve Eve bash. Okay, so as of right now, in terms of what we have, we got 10 spools polymaker filament to give away. We got a beat you hurricane to give away. Thanks to Thangs. We have a Saval SV06 and filament dryer to give away. I really like the SV06. They reached out, they're like, hey, we want to give away a printer. I'm like, cool. Also, um, I got one company that reached out to me and then I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I haven't heard back. So uh, if you if you know who you are, reach back to me. I just want to make sure we're good to go and what you want to do. And then also uh, David from Printed Solid. He wants to give away something. He hasn't told me what, but he wants it to be a bigger giveaway than everyone else's. So we got, I guess we got to wait and see. And then also, of course, we've got LDO Motors Jason. We got a Trident kit to give away. So that will be next Friday. The way that stream's going to work for the big prizes, you can enter anytime during the stream. We're going to do the giveaways at the end. And then during the stream, we'll give away spools of Polymaker Filament. So for the big prizes, you can enter anytime during the stream. For the filament prizes, you have to be there in the window that we give away the filament. It'll be like every like 20 minutes or whatever, we'll give away a spool of filament or something. So that's that's how we're going to do it. Um, for the big prizes, I don't like you have to be here to win because I know my viewers are in different time zones, people work, it, it is what it is. So I try to make it, as, I think that's a good middle ground um, for how how I'd like to do it. Um, Pi 3, I think it's 512. It'll be fine. It run, Clipper runs on a Pi 02. You, you, you don't need more than a gig of RAM for a Clipper. So yeah, so that is that. And then also uh, this week's video is gonna be something a little different because it's gonna involve like absolutely no 3D printing because I built this guy. I built this guy on uh, Sunday. So I cut the frame and I built it all up and I took it for a flight at 1 a.m. So this is a Odonta HD, you know it's not HD, it's analog, uh, quadcopter, two inch quadcopter. So that's what this week's video, when is that video gonna be? I don't know because I have to finish recording some A-roll, but then I also need B-roll of me flying it because um, a, a video about a quadcopter is kind of pointless if there's no video of the thing flying and me doing a hover test in this room doesn't count. So unfortunately, it's uh, I live in Canada and it's cold as shit and it's windy. So I think I have like tomorrow is the only day I can actually fly and not freeze my nuts off. Um, so hopefully I can get some footage tomorrow of it flying but it's not gonna be an instructional video. It's just gonna be like a, a build diary video because I've never done one of these and I don't want it to be an instructional because let's be honest, I am not the person to go to. You can ask me 3D printing questions. I can kind of fumble my way through doing that. I've, I've been exposed to that enough, I like to think. But when it comes to this stuff, go watch go watch Joshua Bardwell. He, he, he's the 3D, or he's the, uh, the quadcopter guy. So. But it does fly. Um, still waiting on that install, so. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, RC stuff. Da -da. There we go. So this was filmed at like 1 a.m. I went outside. My batteries were not charged. I only had like a, a storage voltage 2S battery. 
and this is me flying at night and it was cold so it hurt the battery even more <laughs> but i'm surprised how good these work at night i will say like you can fly around in this no problem so yeah negative 30 in saskatchewan yeah i'm down in southern ontario so i'm below the snow belt but we're still going to get hit by that cold front on thursday so it's going to be yeah this is a um a caddix ant um is the camera on here so it's a caddix ant and the vtx is actually a really shitty vtx it's the one out of my xjb 145 that i kind of broke and soldered back together but it's i had it so i might as well use it but also um i'll give you guys a little hint of what else is coming um because you know if i'm gonna do quadcopter stuff on this channel you know for fun i might as well make videos of it uh we got another caddix ant we've got a happy model aio we've got some three inch blades we got some motors um what i don't have is a bunch of printed parts because that will be the next video or an upcoming video because why don't you build a quadcopter using 3D printed parts? Well, we'll find out. I'm just waiting on the filament to show up because I got a whole bunch of different types I got to print with. So that's another video. It's a business expense. Exactly. Okay. Hey, that's done. So. Got that. What is this little one? Weight and strength. Do TPU. <laughs> um, I, I printed TPU. Um, some of my parts on my quadcopter, uh, my LR4. Uh, my, my LR4, the, the camera mount is TPU. So all the red you see is TPU on this guy. TPU makes sense in certain things, okay? But the frame is not one of those things. Because quadcopter is like stiff. There's a reason you build them out of carbon fiber. There's, there's a reason. Make it live. Um, it's going to be a video. It, it, it'll be a video. So unfortunately, we won't be doing it live. Um, I need a power supply for this. That'll work. You. Keep you okay. So the plan is, uh, if you don't know what an um, a nano long range is, that's basically the quadcopter we're going to be building um, out of different filaments. Because I can't really design. I, I I might try designing something, but I I think to start, I'm going to start with a known working frame, and then we'll go from there and try and design something. But the uh, the plan is to test different filaments, see which one is the best, and then build it. But the thing is, we're building a 2S, not a 1S. So it's gonna be subject to a little bit more stress. And uh, I'm gonna be running it with LiPos, not the, the the heavy battery. So I'm building more a park cruiser instead of a lightweight long range. Uh, Daniel Walker, 1999, cheers. Happy holidays to you and your family. Thank you. Okay, now. I need to find a USB-A cable. Do I have a U? I should have a USB-A cable. Um, I know I have a USB-A cable somewhere. I just don't know where. It's been a hot minute since I've needed a USB-A cable. Uh, I'm gonna have to go digging for one, aren't I? I used one a while ago. What did I use it on? Oh, where did I put it? I know I had one. Because I, I had to use it on a... On something recently. Uh... No, your power cable. Your power cable. USB-A. Ugh. Or is it is it A or like B plus or something? I don't know what the names are for these USB cables. Ah, there we go. 
Mom, get me the printer cable. I need to plug in my printer. CNC, no, the CNC runs a duet. It's a duet. That come on. There we go. Okay. USB B. The only create USB plug until C came around. I love USB C. Everything should be USB C. Everything. Okay, so now I gotta find this printer on my home network. So, fun fact, I don't think I've ever put Clipper on um, a ramps. I can't remember if I have. So this'll be fun. Where are you? Waiting for it to pop up on my home network. It'd be main sale, right? Oh, it's green. It's solid green, so we're connected. USB C hot ends. Oh, that's what Bamboo does. I don't see you on my network. Where are you? Oh shoot, did I rename you to something? No, it shouldn't, no. It should be a different, right? It should, no. So if I use this for something before, would it be the Trident, would it be that, would it be the X1, would it be the P1P? Eh. Was it mainsail.local? It's not showing up in my home network. Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. Pi 3 has built. Uh, Pi 3 isn't like Pi 3 is old, but it's not that old. It has Wi Fi. But it's not showing up on my home network. Uh, let's try a reboot. It, it's showing. I got solid green. Like the, the Wi Fi is connecting. Ten dollars. Cheers. Happy Voron Kit Clipper Miss. Cheers. Gonna have to get the source code. Um, I'll just open it up and just look at the pin assignments. So. Yeah, I put the, the Wi-Fi settings in. And the, the light's turning green. There it was. Now it's flashing red. Uh-oh. Let me, let me. Make sure my Wi-Fi settings are good. Uh, where is, where's the WPA supplicant? They not use Wi-Fi reading. Where is what WPA supplicant? The gong? Go. I, I did set it up in the imager, so it should be fine. Use the IP address, mainsail.local seems to work. I know it moves once it boots. Oh. Like it should work because I I did set it up previously. Like I use the exact same image that I used for the uh, the uh, stream with the uh, Saval and it, it, that worked just fine, so. This should connect, no problem. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got green lights flashing. Yeah, I got a solid green light. It's connected. It's just not showing up in my list of connected devices. Huh. Why aren't you working? Try I angry IP scanner. What is angry? Did not work. See, it worked the other day. That's the thing. It worked the other day because we use the exact same image for uh, No, I, I, it should work because I, I use the exact same image that worked last time. So it shouldn't be like, I didn't change anything. Let me just pull it up just to make sure here. Choose OS, other purpose, back, other specific, 3D printing, main sale, 32, 64-bit. See, it changed my password to a bunch of numbers. Did it, did it like encrypt my password or something? Let me I could try it again. Yeah, that's right, Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save. Wait, let me check one more time. Yeah, let me let me try reflashing it. Let me try reflashing it. Sale 1.0, choose storage, mass storage. Right. Yes. Try again. Huh. Yeah, Wi Fi issues. I don't know why. I shouldn't be having Wi Fi issues. I actually took a bunch of stuff off, so. Time to get a switch. I have a switch. I got it right here. Bah. I just. The problem is I actually don't have any more plugs. I, I gotta move a bunch of stuff around to set it up. But I, I did get a switch. I just haven't hooked it up yet. It's a Pi 3B plus, so it should be fine. Or actually, I think it's just a 3B. It's not even a B plus, but it should be fine. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Wired Ethernet. I don't like wired ethernet because the problem is not all my printers, I move them around. I don't want to have like 20 different ethernet wires like in this room. So don't, it, it's a ubiquity amplify router and it's literally 15 feet that way through one wall. I don't need a repeater. I, I can pick up my Wi-Fi at the mailbox down the street. I shouldn't need a repeater in this room. I run a 3B. Yeah, a Pi Zero will do exactly what we want it to do. It just can't run input shaper. So when you're running Clipper, if you're running main sail or fluid, legit, and if you don't care about a camera and a webcam, it doesn't matter what Pi you use. They will all run the printer to its fullest capabilities. Using Faraday cages. <laughs> I like Faraday cages though. It keeps the it keeps the the Wi-Fi out. I don't want to get that 5G cancer, right? Have I scanned the spectrum? Um, I believe I have. Cause I have the 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 analyzer on here. Do, 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 do. So this is 2.4 gigahertz. 
Yeah, I got it pretty much to myself. Everyone else is on the other side of the, the, the band, down in the one channel. I'm around channel 11, so I'm good. So. Yeah, it's not Wi-Fi reception, believe me. It's, it's, it's not the reception. Yeah, I, I have it set up to automatically go to uh, channels that aren't as busy. I just checked that. Ubiquity Wi-Fi man. Okay, I'll check that out. I I I don't run really anything advanced. I literally just set up the router, set up the the, the information, and off I go. So just waiting for it to final setup. Hosting that's already been taken. Nope. I rename everything once it's set up. So this would be the only thing with main sale as the name. Open WRT. Nah. No, it does not Project Dad's Garage. Everything up to date just connects. Although it is telling me I need to do a software update or firmware update, so maybe I should just run that. So. Yeah, Pi Zero can't do the numpy stuff for uh, for input shaper. Okay, so that's cancel the verify finalizing. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, green light is flashing. Yep, green light's solid, or green light's on, so we are connected. But for some reason, it's not showing up. Damn it. No, this ain't the pie. No, I'm pretty sure I threw that pie out. I had a pie with bad Wi-Fi. First boot takes ages. Yeah, well, usually doesn't take this long. And considering the uh, the LED is the green LED is doing the green LED thing, which is usually the connection, should be good. Ping it. Well, I can't ping it if I don't have the IP address to it. So I'm looking at my router screen of connected devices and we're waiting for it to connect. Problem is if I want to connect ethernet, I got to take the stream down for a second because uh, I only have the one internet cable into this room. Yeah, it's connected. It's like solid green. So we are connected. It's just not showing up. Oh. 
one second here. No, not that one. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Huh. The host name main already has a lease on your router under different MAC address. Flash it with a unique host name. It shouldn't matter because I've done this a million times and every time it works just fine. So. Like I, I've done the exact same setup method on every printer I've built in the past since I got this router and every time connected. So I don't think a setting would somehow flip and change that would make it not work anymore. Oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, there you are. Found you. You son of a bitch. This Raspberry Pi used to be in that machine and I had it named in my router as V226 and I swapped the Pi out. I had two V226s in my, in my IP list. That's what it was. That's what it was. I look at my list and I see V220. I'm looking for main sale. No, it's it's the router. I've already told the IP address of that is V226. So it would doubled up. It was doubled up. That's what it was. That's what it was. So it was connecting. It was a naming issue. Yeah, but the, the what everyone was telling me to do was not what it was what they were telling me to do. They had the right idea, but they were telling me in a wrong like they were wrong. <laughs> It was a naming issue, yeah, but it was not the naming issue they said. Okay, so. Uh, command. There we go. Okay, so we're SSH'd into it. Now, Clipper config reference example configurations. Uh, actually, I should be able to find it in here. Config, config examples. Oh, they're not in here. Okay. Ready? Ramps. <laughs> ramps. Generic ramps config. What's C ramps? Oop. Got the wrong button. Ramps. Back in my day, back in my day, we used 12 volts and we had eight bits and that's all we needed. This file contains common pin mappings for ramps in the AVR. So it's at mega 1280. Ugh. What is it? Uh, or do we know? Or it's mega, right? Okay, I'm trying to find the uh, config for an Arduino Mega. Maybe Arduino. See, is it, is it ramps? Yeah, I think it's ramps. Yeah, so you use ramps for the pins. But when it comes to flashing it, the same. 
RAM sports typically use a firmware compiled for the AVR at Mega 2560. So let's see here. Clipper install. Okay. So CD Clipper. CD that. Okay. <laughs> I. <laughs> I guess with it being, you know, old AF, um, th there aren't many settings here to adjust. It, it, it's just, you know, at Mega 2560, at Mega that, I don't, I don't think any of this matters. Um, I, I think that's it. <laughs> I, I think that's it. There, there, there ain't much to this. <laughs> So, uh, escape, Ooh. yes, and then what is it, make, wow, it's a lot simpler when you only have, you know, eight bits to deal with. <laughs> Hey, at least we don't have to flash it using SD cards. Okay. Uh, LS serial by ID. Okay, there it is. So I need to copy that. Control copy. Put that, put that there. Clipper stop. Okay. Flash device, we need this. My password is raspberry. <gasps> ABR dude done. Pseudo clipper start. Okay. And I think that's it. Like that, that, that should be it, I think. Uh, it's still showing Arduino. Would that show Clipper? It, we flashed something. The only thing I'm concerned about, it's still showing the original uh, Voron Ready there. Um, but it said flashed, so I'm assuming we're good. Okay. So let's go back in here, create file, enter CFG. That here's the default base config. Save and restart. There we go. So it is T 
technically online now. Um, I'm going to power cycle it because right now it's still showing the original Arduino uh, display. So let, let me power cycle this. Um, and see what we get. Uh, shut down. There we go. New headset, yeah, they're IEMs. I swear, I, I ditched the uh, the the AirPods. They were getting kind of annoying. Hello, Jose. Waiting for this to boot up. And then, uh, let me documentation, no, GitHub, repositories, four on one. <laughs> uh, docs, no, that's not it. Could have sworn it was updated on here. Oh, here we go. Voron 1.0. <laughs> I could have sworn he updated the manual on here. Uh... Yeah, I could have sworn the manual was updated on there. Um, let's see here. Did I down? Oh, I, I deleted all the downloads. Shoot. Uh, let me let me pull up my. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to look for. Find my friends. Where is Max? You know what's fun? Being a YouTuber who has a Discord that uh, doesn't block randoms. Because when you message me, if I don't reply, like, within two minutes, it gets buried. Holy shit. Okay, where it is? Okay, there we go. Okay. Where is that manual? Where is the V1.0 manual? Uh, no, that's the CAD file. I don't need the CAD. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I found it. There we go. Okay. Remember this, guys? There we go. This is what I need. Okay, cool. Okay. So. This is what I need here. Oh my god, I can I can count the ah Jesus Christ the font. Is this more legible? That's ramps 1.6. I don't want that. Okay, this one's more legible. I think. Not really. Ugh. 
That's ugly. Okay, let's set up this config machine printer.cfg. Okay. So I like having the printer stuff at the top along with the MCU stuff. Okay, so serial, I guess we don't need to change that because it's connecting. Uh, core XY, hey, Core XY, cool. Where'd, where'd my Y go? Core XY, max velocity 300, max acceleration, yeah, we'll do 5,000. Okay, max F velocity, sure. Okay, so stepper X is, get rid of this, is that one which on this one is extru is stepper A. So we got, okay, so we got A, B, Z. Okay. So looking at this, B, A, and then it's a sheet. Ba, I believe, right? Unless, let me double check here because this might be older than that. <laughs> Uh, where is my stepper motor? Stepper extruder one, extruder two, where's, okay, which one's stepper A? Gantry installation, okay. Ah. Okay, X axis, which one's A and which one's B? Is A on the left or is B on the left? I guess it doesn't matter because if it don't work, we could just move stuff around. Any other streams? Yep, we have the Friday stream uh, is the community contest stream. And then next Tuesday, we'll probably just be a print and chill because it's the holidays. And then next Friday is the uh, print and chill and giveaway stream. Oh wait, I can just open this bitch up because it's all labeled, I believe. Okay, I labeled it one and zero. <laughs> that doesn't help me. Okay, I'm assuming, ah, eh, whatever. It's the legacy, no, this is a V1.0. Okay, so what do we got here? So PF0, PF1, PD1. Where are my pinouts for this? Oh, oh, they don't have the pinouts for the motors on here. Where's the pinouts for the motors? Give me a, a proper pinout, guys. Like, there is the aux, the servos. I don't care about the aux. What are the pin? What are the what are the pins for the the ser or for the motors? Is it worth it? If you want more control out of your printer and be able to do what you want with it, then yes. Uh, if you don't care about the printer itself, you just want to print plastic boat, then just buy bamboo. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna assume the pins are right. Um, I can just move the motors around if I need to. Um, so what I'm going to do is just check my end stops here. So where's my end stop pins? Are none of these labeled? 
Like they only have the aux and the I2C. Like, where are my end stops? End stops are in there. End stops are in here and they don't give me anything for it. Holy shit ramps, folks. No wonder why ramps is dead. I... How do you, how do you not have a pinout diagram of everything except your aux ports for ramps? Like. Ramps pinout, where, where is the ramps? Cause they just have the aux. They, they don't have any of the, like where, where's the end stops? which are all here. Like there's my end stops, but what, what, what are the pins for these? Like here, okay, that's great. Here's my I2C and my aux four. whoop de fucking do but wh where is the chart to tell me the pin numbers for any of this shit? Okay, I'm just gonna go off of the, the, this. I'm assuming this is set up like a bone stock basic ramps. Um, and I got two end stop pins, so I'm assuming high and low. So, save and restart. Let's see if we could trigger our end stops. Let's get, let's at least get the end stops Verified. Okay, that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Okay, the Z works. Okay, so let's go back to printer.cfg and we got these two examples here. So I'm assuming one of these is the high pin and one is the low pin. So let, let's swap these around. Save and restart. So our end stop, our Z end stop works. Open. Triggered, okay. And that is X, that's good. And why? Okay, good. Okay, so our end stops are working now. Okay. So our X and our all our end stops are working. Um documentation build initial start. So stepper buzz X. Okay, it's this one. Okay. Stepper Y. Okay, is that one? Stepper Z. Goes positive, negative, right? So if it's going up, it goes positive, negative, right? So positive, negative. So if it's going up first on the Z, that means it's going in the negative first. So I got to change the direction. Machine, .cfg, stepper Z, needle pin, direction pin. Save and restart.
There we go. Okay. So there we go. What's my favorite Vorn to work on? Ah, it depends which one. Depends what I'm doing, really. Okay, so we got that. Um, home, home X, <laughs> yellow. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, home Y. Okay, so they're both backwards. Oh wait, Y is going right. No, home X. Wait, so when I said home X, it goes that way. When I said home Y, home Y works, but home X doesn't. Um, the problem is the stupid charts that we have here, I don't think have a V1 in here. <laughs> um, so I gotta, oh shoot, this is gonna be fun. Like I could swap the motors around. Let's, let's try the machine. Printer.cfg. And then, and then this is what you do. Ready? Swap the motors around. Okay, that's now motor Y. And this is now motor X. Save and restart. There we go. Swap the motors around. <laughs> home all. Okay, home X. Nope. Why? Nope, now that's going the other way. The guy does have V1 in Legacy? No, it has V1. Which has the same, okay. This is, is the V1, not the V1.0. This is like V1.8, okay? This doesn't have Legacy in it because the, the motors are, the, the, the belt routing is different. Um, But this right here, so we have Y going, so I gotta invert stepper A. So let me go back in here. So let's let's put these back to normal. X, Y, and invert stepper A, so direction pin. All right, no, that would be that one. So let's see if that's the same. I, I could have sworn they were different. Oh, I said step in. Oops. Direction pin. Direction pin. Yeah, that's what I did. Direction pin. I knew I. Did I screw up? Error. What am I erring? Step pin in section. It must be special. What? Step pin. It's right there. Did I do what did I do? Step in is right there. How is that not there? Stepper X, stepper Y. Okay, can't have a capital X, I guess. Okay. Okay, so I inverted that. Okay. So. Home X. Nope, that's going the wrong way. Maybe I inverted the wrong pin. Uh, read the chat. Found Clipper. What about reading the chat? I am reading the chat. Uh, okay. Um, oh, let's try. 
try it again. Oh! Yay! Okay, I don't have a safe set at home, so I gotta set that up. Okay, so we got that. Zed, under my Zed, I'll put safe Zed home. And I think this bed's 220 by 220, I believe. Two thirty, so one fifteen, one fifteen. Save and restart. Home all. Okay, that's not one fifteen, one fifteen. But it thinks it's one fifteen, one fifteen. So our E steps are way off. Is it? it it thinks we're at 115, 115. Okay, so. Machine, picture.cfg. Micro step 16, rotation distance 40. Um, what's our rotation distance on this bitch? Because these should be the same, right? Yeah, they should be the same. So snipper X. Uh, rotation distance is 240. Yeah, 40. Step 32. Are we on 30? Oh, are we on 32? I don't know. Are we on? It's DVRs. DVRs are 32, right? That makes more sense. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that is that. So we got it moving. We got it homing. Cool. Um, how is our heaters working? So we got heater bed and heater extruder. So let's, let's try make sure our heaters work. So the extruder is heating up. Okay. Now let's try the bed. We are we are really going to have to PID too in this. Okay, we're not getting anything out of the bed. The bed is not heating up. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, that turns a fan on. 
Yeah. Okay. So our bed heater controls our fan. Okay. Okay. So printer.cfg. Uh, <laughs> so heater bed. So pH five. Okay. Is actually controlling our fan which is our controller fan. <laughs> so, uh, fan, heater, fan, here we go, fan, uh, here we go, heater, controller, fan, okay, cool. So we're gonna borrow this stuff here. And you're gonna be pH five. Okay, so heater, controller, fan is pH five, okay. So that means what is our heater hooked up to? So what is our heater hooked up to? So our heater uh, is hooked up to Yeah, there's our Rams fan. Okay, so that's that. Uh 120 extruder fan, 12 volt common bed. Where is bed? Bed, bed, bed. Where is bed? SSR. Okay, the SSR is going down to this guy, which is that aux pin. What is that aux pin? Aux. Oh, servos. Okay, D11. So our bed is D11. Save and restart. Yeah, the bed's on an SSR. D11 is not a valid pin name. What do you mean it's not a valid pin name? It's D11. It's right there. It, 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 it's pin 11, huh? Convert D11 to clipper pin assignment. How, how do I figure that out? PB5, okay, is there a chart? It's PD11? Is there a chart that tells me that? Because someone's saying PB5 and somebody's saying PD11. So obviously one of you is right and one of you is wrong. So show me your, show me your your deets. Where where is this information from? It's S0. Or is it S, is it? Yeah, it's right here, D11 or S0. So would it be S0? Okay, let's try pin D11, try that. Oh, nope. Okay, that person's wrong.
Yep, that's heating up. Okay, cool. Okay, so we've got the heaters working. Now we need to figure out the fans. Okay, so. Whatever I just turned on there, nothing happened. <laughs> So that is a cooling fan, extruder fan. So that is coming down here. It's one of these guys. Yeah, because all the fans are in one big mash. Shoot. Oh, these are going to be fun. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna need the pin numbers for all these servos. D6, D5, and D4. Um, where where are these at anyways? Like. Yeah, I'm gonna need all these. So this one. PB5, the 2560 pinout. Er. Oh, I see. Uh, why does this seem backwards? PB5 is over here. Because that's... Unless, like, because if you, if you look at the stack, over here is where the controller is. Unless that pin just decides to go on an adventure right across the whole bloody thing. Sample aliases. Oh, here we go. So if I need D5, alias config config generic ramps we this is config generic ramps like right literally this this is machine config generic ramps the problem is it doesn't have all the pins in it that we need um so for example right now i got to figure out what my fan is for uh my hot end and I know it ain't pH six. PE three. Okay, let's let's hear hot and fan. There we go. Okay, so this fan is what is it? PE three. Let's try PE3. Save and restart. Okay. Oh. Okay, that works. That works. Okay, so we got that fan working. Okay, so we got PE3 working. Okay, now I just need uh, the hot end fan, which isn't PB0. It would be uh, 
Shooter fan. Blower fan? I don't know, it'd be one of the other ones. It'd be one of the other ones, P4. Uh, let's try PG5. Let's try PG5. I mean, worse comes to worse, it just don't work, right? Problem is I gotta heat this up for it to kick in. Takes a minute for this to register. Okay, PG5, it ain't. Okay, let's try PH3. It's the servo fans for sure. Okay, there we go working now there we go there we go okay um so let, let's take a moment here we've got what time are we at right now 12 25 shoot okay we're probably not gonna be printing with this this will be next week's um we've got xyz motions good hot end heats up let me make, are we getting up the right hot end I don't know which hot end we're heating up. Because there's two extruders on this, right? And I only want the left one to heat up. I have no plans to use dual extrusion on this because dual extrusion on this doesn't work. It's E3D, I love you folks to death. You guys are awesome. The Chimera died for a reason, okay? E3D, stop making the Chimera for a reason. So we're heating up. I want to make sure it's the right one. Okay. Yeah, it's the right one. Okay. We're good there. Okay, so that's good. Um, we got that. We got our X, Y, Z homing. We got our fans working. Is there, what else do we need to set up? Set up the probe today. The probe works. We got the, got the end stop working. We just got to set an offset. Um, oh, I got to set up a virtual probe. Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, shoot, the extruder, the extruder, the extruder. Oh, shoot, it's rotation distance. Ah. So it's at 32 micro steps. Um. Uh, turn that up to 275, just in case. What is my rotation distance on this thing? Anyone know what the rotation distance is on the original Voron extruder? Um, it's a 16 to 60, 80 tooth? I think it's a 16 to 80 tooth, or 20 to 80 tooth. Is it the same as the Mobius or the M4? Oh, it's the same. I think. Yeah, it's the same as the M4. Uh, it's the M4. Uh, tool is an extruders for an M4 manual. Where is the configuration stuff? Is there config? Is there nothing in here about the config or do I gotta pull up? Shoot, I gotta pull up the legacy, don't I? Community, GitHub, uh, 
Legacy. No, the Legacy is direct drive. No, the Legacy is Bowden. Legacy is Bowden. From where? Config. Extruder. There you go. Okay, rotation distance. And gear ratio is 80 to 20. Okay. Full steps for rotation, 33. And then I'll, I'll just do a, uh, because I I don't know what the gear ratio, or what the, uh, the rotation distance is with this extruder number. So um, I'm just going to, I'll, I'll calibrate that manual quickly. We'll, we'll do some math when we get to that part. Okay. Um, I gotta set up virtual end stops here. So we have, uh, I'll just use the legacy as the base for this. So end stop virtual. Victor.cfg stepper Z. up in oh here we go yep okay so probe where's my probe section there it is I need a bed mesh section know what my x and y offset is time to do some math because uh it's like 10 millimeters on the x uh so x offset x offset is oh shoot what is it uh shoot uh e3d what's a e3d Chimera. What is the spacing on an E3D Chimera? So it's gonna be half that. It's 20. Yeah, it's, is it 20 millimeters? Or 21? Is it 20 or 21? Uh, where is your docs? Documentation. Because there's two versions of the Chimera. There's two versions, and I can't remember which version I have. I remember that being a thing when we were setting this up. Chimera Plus. Yeah, because on this one, it's 18, but it's not 18. It's 20. Yeah, it is 20. Okay, so it's 10 millimeters. So our X offset is negative 10 millimeters because it's uh, 10 millimeters to the left. Our Y offset 
is oh geez like 48 millimeters <laughs> that is a big offset 48 <laughs> save and restart Stepper position and stop is not valid. And stepper Z. Stepper Z. Position and stop. Uh, yeah, I, I think I removed that. There we go. Okay. And then what is our max? I think it's 200. I'm just gonna put 200 for now. Or no, no, 230 on the XY and Z is 200. Yeah, okay. So I think, I think we're good there. So let's do a home all. Bed mesh. Okay, let me set up bed mesh. I kind of sort of set up bed mesh. Do I have bed mesh in here? Machine. Yeah, I have bed mesh. Okay, I got bed mesh set up. Oh, I don't, yeah, okay. Height map. Calibrate. Oh, I gotta hold first. So, uh, fun fact, right now we have two stepper motors for extruders, because we're running dual extruders. At some point, I will swap this over to a Revo, I think, with a, 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 a um, I might go direct feed, I don't know yet, but I will swap this over to a Revo with a better extruder, and then the second extruder is going to become a second Z motor, and we're going to do some bed mesh, or best bed tramming with this. I want to try and keep this as stock as possible, yet kind of drag it cricket, kicking and screaming into, you know, modern standards of 3D printers. Move out of range. What do you, do you mean move out of range? Bed mesh, bed mesh. Where is bed mesh? 230, 235, bed mesh. Oh, min. Yeah, we can't do that. Uh, Drew Bizzle, thank you for coming a member. Okay, calibrate. Why did it try to move out of bounds? Why did it move out of bounds? Full trigger, no trigger probe after full movement. Why did you move out of bounds?
That's why. Nope. I told it to go to zero, zero. It thinks this is zero, zero. Not this. Machine. Mainsail. Oh, no, not mainsail. That's CFG. Printer dot CFG. Okay. So X. Okay, here we go. X end stop position. Yeah. Is at 230. Okay. Y end stop position is at 230. It thought it was homing to min, not max. Oh. That again. Now it's homing the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Dang it. <laughs> We calibrate, we set up everything backwards. I forgot, okay. So now I gotta reverse both motors, I believe. Uh, machine, main sail, nope, not main sail. Printer dot CFG. Uh, reverse both motors, direction pin, direction pin. Save and restart. Saw that coming. Well, Alan, how come you didn't warn us? F1, what do you mean F1? What? F1. Was that P1? Did I fat finger that? Oh uh, shoot, what was that pin before? <laughs> uh, oops. What was that original pin? PF1, okay, PF1. Thank you guys. This is why I do everything with you guys are here because it helps. Okay, there we go. Home you. Home you. Go to the middle of the bed. What time are we at? Okay. Height map, calibrate, calibrate. Move out of range. Bed mesh max. What move? What move was out of range? Console. Two forty. Why would you try to go to two forty? Oh, because it's yeah. Okay. Uh, Gco files. Gco viewer. No. Uh, machine. Printer dot cfg. Bed mesh. So two thirty. Two thirty. We can't do two thirty. So let's do 200 on the X, and then the Y is 50 in the front, and then we'll do 180 in the back. That way it's the same, I guess. There we go. 
I think it's doing like a five by five and then we'll do the PID tunes after this. And then I don't have the screen. How do I get the screen on this? One firmware clipper. Oh, here's your uh, pinouts. Oh, we get another error. Oh, no. Okay, here's our bed. So we're one corner is lower than the rest. That kind of makes sense. Cool. Let's try and get our screen working now. Display. Shouldn't need all this Z stuff because there is no MCU Z. Because this is all set up for. Okay, and then we have these. There's like pin assignment somethings. Yeah, that ain't working. Uh, ba 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 ba. Where is that pin assignment thing? Unable to parse section heater temp in heater. What? I didn't play around with heater temp. Oh, display. Okay, yeah. So there's something with like uh, the pins. I remember there being like a. a uh, conversion table or something. I don't see the pins and then the printer dot CFG has these pins, but these aren't them. Sample LCD for a list of common pins. Just this one. Restart. Uh, 
There we go. Ah! <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I don't know about you, but, uh... Let me close this up here. That is not the right one. Where'd my Allen key go for this? Got that one, got that one. Not this one, this is too big. Oh, it's right here. I'm just blind. about you but but this this don't look right um like it it, it, it it's kind of right but i think this number is supposed to be in this box um <laughs> it, it, it it's looking kind of close but not quite uh Display type is set wrong. It's a one, two, eight, six, four. Like it's just a normal one, two, eight, six, four. I didn't think there was any other types of 12864s. It's a rep wrap discount. Yeah, that's that's the one I use right here. Rep wrap discount. I, Cause I don't think it's the 2004 one. Okay, that one's even worse. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't right. ST7920. ST7920. Yeah. I don't know why that's not working, but that should work, but it's it's not. Oh well. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Um I'll let that do whatever. It doesn't really matter. Let's PID tune this, because we gotta PID tune it. Uh, it's probably going to take a little while here. Community, documentation, the build, we shall start up.
Muted. There we go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the, the one the one from 50 on, that's for an Ender 3. It only uses one of the expansion slots. Like this uses two, right? There's expansion pin one and pin two. And this kind of works. So it, it, it's an issue with the uh, display. Just a little corrupted. Just a wee bit corrupted. Dang it. Well, it's gonna get annoying. It went through my lo-fi royalty-free soundtrack and started playing other music on Spotify before I realized it. So I'm probably gonna get copyright stricken on this video. God dang it. Sony BMG is gonna take my AdSense. There are two versions of it. Okay, what's the second version? Cause I only see uh oh here we go hey it doesn't work okay Oh my god, I ain't doing that. Yeah, I have to update files on Clipper. I ain't, I ain't doing that. The Rick, $5 for the AdSense. Thank you. Um, what I will do is I'll just swap in a different display or just take the display off altogether. Or hey, maybe just put the Pad 5 on this. We'll see. What about the ANET compatible one? No, nope, that's only expansion one too. And then the FISEC one works with the FISEC, which we don't have. Well, I could put it on. Let me see if I have one. I know I have one somewhere. Um, oh, right here. wait for the bed to finish its PID tune because I got this display I could put on. Oh my God, it spins. Do I have an Ender 3 Pro screen? I do not. I've only ever had one Ender. It was an Ender 3 V2 and it's taken apart and in a box right now. I have no desire to get another Ender. I've Somebody reached out, I, Some one of the brand, you know how you have like the companies that like Creality, but then you have the companies that also sell Creality products. And a lot of times they reach out with like, hey, do you want an Ender 2? And I'm like, no, fuck off. Why would I want an Ender 2? Um, but somebody's offering me an Ender 5 right now. And I'm like, I don't want it. Okay. Save config. There we go. Maker Meraki, 50. Cheers. Thank you for your great content. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas to your family too. 
Okay, so um, which one's which? So I'm assuming unplugging this while it's on doesn't do anything. Okay, so that was expansion one. Isaac Mini, there we go. Save and restart. on the mini wait is this the one you have to do like upside down is the fisec mini the one where the the headers are upside down if you're running clipper or something i believe so okay well, here, let me get the PID tune going on the, the hot end for this. Okay, well, we'll run the PID tune for 220. Are there labels? No, it's, it's, let's see here. Nope. Maybe I swapped this around already? I don't know. Super wide pie displays. Um, I think that would be kind of overkill for this machine. Yeah, I'm getting nothing on this display. Maybe that's why this display has been on the shelf for a while. Maybe it's dead. That might explain it. But I mean, I could always, you know. Just put a pad five on it. I tried flipping the headers. It didn't work. Let me see. What else do I have? I think I have more displays. So I had a... I know I have one. I might have my original V0 display somewhere. I've got to have my original V0 display somewhere. Okay, I've got this one. 
which is slightly different than this one, I believe. Yeah, we'll try this one next. I'll drop this one in. Swap the display, because then I also got this one. So we'll, we'll let this do its thing first, and then we'll swap that over. And it's any working display. I, uh, I wouldn't bother. Um, I, I don't really need a display for this to begin with. You had to restart when connecting the display. Okay, well, we'll try this one first, see how it works. And then if that don't work, I'll switch to the other one. Time check. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're going to have to do the giveaway now. Because, uh... I gotta end the stream here. <laughs> okay. So, um, you got like one minute. If you haven't entered for your chance to win some Polymaker filament, every stream we give away a spool of Polymaker filament. Uh, link in the description. If you wanna just purchase some Polymaker filament, because there's also an affiliate link down there, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It goes a long way in helping support the channel and it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. There's also other affiliate links in the channel down there. Um, also, this week, because we had to cancel it last week, um, probably Thursday will be the members live stream. Again, we'll, we're going to try again. Um, Thursday uh, around noon EST uh, will be the members live stream. So I cleaned up. No, this room's still a mess. What do you mean cleaned up? This room is a disaster. Okay, give me two more minutes, or one minute. Or you know what, not even. If you didn't enter, you, you had all stream to enter. If you're just getting here now, hi, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. If you wanna help support the channel, the content I create and things I do, consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon supporter. Okay, I'm gonna close it right now because we're at 420 entries and that's a funny number. You'll have another chance on Friday. And the Friday stream will be at um, probably 2 p.m. It'll be on 2 p.m. on Friday. Buddha, 3D, $2. Cheers. I, my SVO6, did you edit the start G code or YOLO? I use the same starting G code I use on all my printers. You forgot to enter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Pick a number. Are you kidding me? Give me a number and don't make it a stupid high number. And everyone else spam numbers in chat. So I'm just gonna pick the first one, actually. Four, that works. One, two, three, four. Spin the wheel. And the winner is... Bada bing, bada boom, doom. Tonight at 11, doom. Congratulations, doom. You have won yourself a spool of filament from Polymaker. You will get an email from me after the stream ends here with a little form you gotta fill out. You get to pick your filament. You'll get it in a couple days to a couple weeks, depending on where you live in the world. Uh, hopefully that email address is a valid email address. There we go. Bot, we got a bot? Bot, everyone spam bot in chat. That way I know there's a bot. There we go, perfect. Okay, are you are you done doing this? Are you done? Okay, cool. Save, config. Okay. Now let's see if this screen works.
There we go. Okay, this display works, so I'll just swap these two displays over. I'll just swap to this display. Look how sensitive this is. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. That works. Okay. Cool. Okay. We're going to call it there because I got to uh, just go upstairs because the wife's heading to work. So I'm going to end the stream there. So don't forget, tomorrow is Wednesday. After Wednesday is Thursday. Thursday will be the members live stream. So if you're a member of the channel or a Patreon supporter, uh, there will be a live stream probably around noon. Um, if you're not, or if you are a member of the Discord, uh, make sure you link your Patreon and YouTube account as well if you are a member of the channel or a Patreon supporter because you get access to the super secret room where notifications are for that kind of stuff. So do that. Also, Friday, community contest. So if you haven't had your chance to join the community Discord, link in the description. Every month we do a community contest, cool prizes. All you have to do is print something and enter. It can be something you already printed. You can print it between now and Friday. Rules are all in that channel. You'll see it. It's at the bottom there under the contest channel. And then next Friday is the end of year Christmas Eve Eve giveaway and stream stream. So that will be next Friday. We got some awesome big prizes from Printed Solid, Saval, LDO Motors, um, Thanks, and a few other people as well. So I will see you on Friday. Some of you I will see on Thursday. Be safe out there. Enjoy the rest of your week. Good night. Well, next Tuesday, we'll print with this. Next Tuesday. Bye.